So here is a question I have from the audience last week. What is a nautical mile? A nautical mile is a way for us to gauge the distance, especially when you're thinking of boats moving on the oceans and to see how far they have to go or how much further they need to go. So here they often talk about nautical miles. So let's see what it is. Here's a few. So in order to answer that question, we have to do a bit of geometry. So here we have our planet. This is Earth. We have the axis of rotation. We have here the equator right here. Now, what's interesting is that the circumference of the planet is about 40,000 kilometers. From the research I did, it's 40,075 kilometers. And if you were to go for the circumference, including the two poles, it's possible it might be a bit different. Now, keep in mind that this idea of nautical miles has been going on for centuries. So here, there's been, there's been a little bit of changes on how people are considering it. So here, you have to also keep in mind that if you, you take the planet as a sphere and you consider the latitude, and latitude being zero degrees, so as you are going all the way to the top here, you end up with the, the 90 degrees, so from zero to 90 degrees. So that means that if you were to consider the whole planet, you have 360 degrees. For the same reason, if you have a circle like this and you go from this point, you have 360 degrees. Now, on top of that, we have to keep in mind that in one degree, we have what we call 60 minutes. So this is in the old, uh, when you think of geometry, you go back a few centuries. So here we have 360 degrees for the circle, works the same with the sphere. And we did, we used that for our latitude. And we also know that in one degree, we have 60 minutes. And that gives us all the information we need in order to know what a nautical mile is. So I'm gonna get my calculator because I don't need to do some calculator calculations with you. So the first thing we need to do is if we take the circumference of our, uh, of our planet and it is 40,000 kilometers. And we know that there's 360 degrees to do a full, uh, to cover the whole surface of the sphere. I bet that we have 360 degrees for the circle. So 40,000 kilometers divided by 360 gives us 40,000 divided by 360. We end up with 1111 like this. Uh, Kilometers. So we have about 111 kilometers per degree from here when we go from the equator all the way to the top here. On top of that, we know that in each degree, there are 60 minutes. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to divide by 60 minutes because there's 60 minutes per, um, 60 minutes per degree like this. So let's see if I can take my calculator again, divided by 60, and I end up with uh, one eight, one, so five, one, like this, kilometers, or actually, we're in English, so it's 1.851 kilometers. So if we put them in meters, one eight five one meter and because it is uh, repeated 851 we have 81852 meters so for my research that i did last week actually it was yesterday it's the so internationally we consider that one nautical mile is 1852 meters so let's see if i can so i'm going to hear multiply by 1000. So I've got this one here. So let's see if I can do another calculation. I'd like to know how many, 
how many miles that is. So 1852, uh, let's see, divided by one point, I think it's 1 1.6. So it's uh, 1, 1, five, eight. like this. Perfect. So it's 1.1 1 .1 or 1.2 miles. There you go. So this is what a nautical mile is. It's used in navigations with boat, boats. I don't know if it's used for planes. If it happens that you know, if in aviation we're using nautical mile, I would like to know. I think it's an interesting question. So this was a question from last week from the audience. I hope that this is answering the question. I had a lot of fun to learn about this. So thank you. On this, I'm going to put here a link to another video related to science, and I'll see you there.